we will look at some puzzles related to addition and subtraction. This is addition and this is subtraction. One day, while walking, addition and subtraction reached a mysterious village. Here, there was a puzzle written on every house. Addition and subtraction are tired after roaming in the hot, burning sun. They think that they should go to one of the houses and take some rest. They are standing in front of a house, but the door of the house is closed. This puzzle is written on the roof of the house. In this village, 25 houses are of yellow color and 20 houses are of blue color. How many houses are there in the village? First, Subtraction tried to enter the house. He tried very hard, but that did not open. Now, Addition just went near the door. And look what happened! The door opened on its own. Children, can you tell why this must have happened? Does this have any relation with the puzzle written on this house? Yes, children, you guessed it right. We have to find the total number of houses in the village in the puzzle written on the house. To do this, we have to add the number of yellow houses 25 to the number of blue houses 20. As we need to make use of addition here, therefore addition could easily enter this house. Children, whenever we have to find the total sum of numbers, then we make use of the process of addition. Addition and subtraction took rest in the house and again started roaming in the village. This time, they went and stood in front of a park. Addition and subtraction want to go and play in the park. But the gate of the park is closed and a puzzle is written on it too. Come, let's see what the puzzle is written on the gate of the park. This puzzle is written on the gate of the park. Here, there are 75 rose plants and 32 marigold plants. How much more are the rose plants there than the marigold plants? Yes, children, you are guessing it right. To solve the puzzle written on the gate of the park, we need to subtract the number of rose plants 75 and the number of marigold plants 32. We have to use which method here? Subtraction. Therefore, the park gate opened easily by subtraction. Children, whenever we have to find the difference between the number of two objects, then we use subtraction. Addition and subtraction had lot of fun in the park. Children, in this lesson, we saw some puzzles related to addition and subtraction. We will see some more interesting examples of this in the next two lessons. In this lesson, we will learn when to use addition or subtraction in a puzzle. Today, Gaggu is conducting a magic show in the village. First magic has begun. He has kept in a flower vase 70 yellow flowers. Then he covered the vase with a cloth and swung his magic wand over it. 
when Gaggu removed the cloth from over the vase, along with 70 yellow flowers, there were 28 blue flowers too. Everyone was surprised how Gaggu did this magic. They clapped really, really hard. In the flower vase earlier, there were 70 yellow flowers. Now, in the flower vase, there are 28 flowers more. Now, how many total flowers there are in the vase? Children, can you tell that in this question, we will use addition or subtraction? In this question, we have to find the total number of flowers. Whenever we need to find the total number of things, we make use of addition. Therefore, in this question also, we will use addition. In 70, if we add 28, what is the total? 98. Yes, now there are 98 flowers in the vase. Babban was enjoying Gaggu's magic. But he felt that Gaggu was making a fool of them. Therefore, Babban hid behind the stage before the start of Gaggu's next trick. Gaggu began showing his third magic. First, he released 125 pink balloons in the air. Now he swung his magic wand in the air and there appeared 250 more blue balloons. Everyone started clapping happily and excitedly. At first, there were 125 pink balloons on the stage. Now there are additional 250 blue balloons with them. Which balloons are more in number on the stage? And how much more? Children, can you find if in this question should we use addition or subtraction? Oh, wow, children! This is correct answer. In this question, we will use subtraction because the number of blue balloons is more than pink balloons. For this, from 250, 125 is to be subtracted. And now we can see that the number of blue balloons are more than the pink balloons by 125. When Gaggu was showing his magic, then Babban saw that Appu elephant was hiding behind the stage. Actually, Appu was the one releasing the balloons from behind the stage. Appu became nervous seeing Babban and out of fear started running across the stage. Seeing Appu, everyone understood that Gaggu was fooling them. What must have happened then? This you can understand very well. <laughs> Children, in this lesson we learned when to use addition and when to use subtraction in a question or a puzzle. Children, in the last lesson we learned when to use addition or subtraction in puzzles. In this lesson, we will learn to create questions with addition and subtraction. One night, Chanda was returning from her shop. She found a book on the way. In the book, it was written, there are some pictures here and there is a blank space below them. Write the correct questions related to the picture in the blank space. Chanda picked up the book and took it to her home. This was the first picture in the book. 
Here, there are 20 gold coins in one pot and 16 gold coins in another pot. And there was a blank space below the picture where a question related to the picture was to be written. After thinking for a while, Chanda wrote down a question there. There are 20 gold coins in one pot and 16 gold coins in another pot. Then how many gold coins are there in total? Chanda has now made a question of addition. Children, we can also make addition questions like Chanda. To make addition questions, we use words like total number of things. Suddenly, the two pots filled with gold coins appeared in front of Chanda. Chanda was not able to believe her eyes. Children, can you make another question as well on this? Absolutely right. Here, there are 20 gold coins in one pot. And in another pot, 16 gold coins. How many more coins are there in one pot from another? Likewise, we can make a subtraction puzzle as well. Now Chanda immediately turned the page of the book and she saw this picture. There are two diamond necklaces here. One necklace is 15 centimeters long and the second necklace is 22 centimeters long. Chanda immediately wrote this question. There are two diamond necklaces here. One necklace is 15 centimeters long and the other is 22 centimeters long. Which among these necklaces is longer and by how much? Children, Chanda has made a subtraction question here. Whenever we have to compare the difference between two numbers, then we can use subtraction. To create subtraction questions, words like how much more, how long, what is the difference, etc. can be used. Yay! On Chanda's neck, suddenly, the 22 centimeter necklace appeared. Yay! Chanda started dancing happily. Yay! The next day, Chanda tells Babban about her magic book. Out of greed, Babban borrows the book from Chanda for a day. Chanda gives it to him happily. Babban opened the book very excitedly and he thought that he would himself make a picture in the book and write the question. Babban made this picture. Then below that picture, Babban wrote this question. There are 15 lockers here. Out of those, 10 lockers contain diamond jewels. How many lockers are empty? The moment Babban wrote the question, five lockers appeared in front of him. Babban went mad in happiness. But as he opened the lockers, they all were empty. Babban became sad. He thought that this time, he will make the picture with more thoughtfulness. But as he went near the book, the book disappeared from there. Babban again started crying for becoming a victim of his greed. Children, in this lesson, we learned to create question puzzles 
of addition and subtraction.